Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new gameplay objective Gonzalo Gedge card to review today. So, obviously pretty excited about this card because he's Portuguese, so you guys know I want to put him in my team immediately. But, guys, we're taking a look at a card who is 5'10", high medium work rates, right footed, 4 star skills with a 4 star weak foot. Does he have any in-game traits? He doesn't have the outside foot shot trait or... The finesse shot trait, which is a little bit unfortunate, obviously. He's got 88 acceleration with 91 sprint speed, which is pretty decent for base card stats. Uh, we're going to be giving him a hunter chemistry style because I want to test out his dribbling in game just from the base card stats that he has. I don't expect it to be super responsive. I just want to see if he's good enough with the hunter chemistry style because with a card like this, you know, people are giving him a hunter, an engine, a finisher. I would personally give him a finisher if I feel like he needs that extra dribbling boost, right? But for now, we're going to be using the Hunter Chemistry Soft for the extra pace and shooting on the card because of his finishing being at an 82. Now, 82 finishing with 90 shot power at 83 attacking positioning is pretty decent for base card stats. So it would also make sense to potentially give him an engine chemistry style because you'd be giving him the pace boost, dribbling boost, as well as the passing one, right? But like I said, Hunter, we'll see what his dribbling is like. Um, so... He's got 84 composure to work with those things. Passing on the cards at an 82 for short passing, 74 for long passing, at 81 for curve. Uh, dribbling is obviously going to be the big thing that we're going to be testing out in game because he does have the average body type. 5 foot 10 height with 84, 81 for agility and balance, uh, 86, 84, 87 for reactions, ball control, and dribbling at an 84 composure. Uh, this card also has 80 stamina, so, you know, if you tell him to come back in defense, not necessarily the worst thing in the world. I do feel like they could have improved this card a little bit more uh, from base card stats because it's really nice when uh, cards have very obvious chemistry styles that you give them so they can boost the very important areas of the card. Uh, but with a card like this, uh, we're going to be using him with the Hunter chemistry style to see if it's good enough. So this is the team that we'll be using him in. I'll be using him up top in the striker position for now. Uh, I'll be rotating between two different formations for him. I'm just going to make sure Juan Felix plays in the cam position with the striker on balance instructions. And then we're going to have him in the other 4-2-3-1 formation where he will be playing in the striker as well. So I'll be rotating between long ball and balance. I like long ball because it kind of forces that attacking play out of the cards. It forces this aggressive attacking AI so we can kind of analyze that as much as possible. Because he is a center forward, he might feel natural playing through the middle but because his dribbling is not like crazy up to par maybe i prefer to use him on the sides right like there's a lot of players that i've used uh that don't necessarily have the craziest of dribbling from like rare gold cards but i could still do work with them on the sides as well so yeah we'll be testing out a lot of things with gonzalo gadge i'll probably be rotating to the long ball attacking tactics first and then uh yeah we'll go from there okay so we're gonna be facing a really cool team so he has like some meta players in there obviously but it's like it's nice, man. He's got Firmino, he's got Jota chilling in there as well with Robin and Promise. Like, it's it's a cool team. I like it. It's like meta, obviously, but like a good kind of fun meta, you know? Okay, so let's switch to the uh, long ball tactics first. We'll see what's up. Okay, interesting. Just wanted to see how he would dribble or how he would move off of my dribbles there. I'm going to force a run out of him right here. Chip shot. Oh, beautiful stuff. Let's go. I timed that pass really nicely. I think I might have just got it, got it, it, <laughs> uh, gotten it at the uh, the line for sure. Nice stuff right there. I will tell you guys this right now: the dribbling is noticeable so far. I, even from the small little touches that I've taken with him, it is noticeably low. So we'll see what's up, man. They need that pace, though. You know what I'm saying, boys? Shot from that angle. Over the bar, man. Over the bar. Put way too much power behind that. Usually, I don't take strikes from there because the percentage is really low. But for the sake of the review, you want to obviously test them out from the uh, specific angles. I think I might have been able to score that if I actually put less power into that. It's not bad. Probably going to score off of this here. Oh. Get the ball at the goalie. Useful looking ball. Shot from close. Okay. Again, you don't want to shoot that right away. Like, once you see the goalie pushing you like that, you want to be able to just, you know, go for the ball roll touch and stuff. Like, you don't want to shoot an opportunity like that right away. But, uh, you know, I want to test it out when it's close to the goalkeeper. See if it goes over his leg or something, you know? 
I mean, like I said, guys, you can feel the dribbling not necessarily being crazy up to par, but it still makes the most sense to give him the Hunter chemistry style uh, because of how he's going to perform with the pace on the card, right? Like, I feel like he needs it regardless. Yeah, I just wanted to test out his dribbling there from those situations. You can see that there's kind of like this tug and pull thing with his card. I think for me to enjoy the card from a general experience, I'd probably just give him an engine chemistry style because his base card stats for shot power is already pretty decent. So just to make him more responsive in the game, I feel like that'd make the most sense to give. It's all situational though, man. Like you guys know, I always aim for a better general experience when playing the game. So I always aim to boost the dribbling as much as I can. Okay guys, so we're going to be giving him an engine chemistry style. Uh, reason being for this is because we want to give him that little bit of a pace boost as well as the dribbling boost while giving him the passing boost because he already has 82 finishing with 90 shot power. Now again, it is pretty unfortunate that this card uh, hasn't received a good enough boost where the chemistry styles are very obvious to give him, right? Because you give him one thing, he'll be lacking in something else. He's just going to be one of those cards, right? But... Engine chemistry style usually helps out a lot for these type for these types of cards because uh, with Quincy Promise it was like that for me too. Um, or not Quincy Promise actually it was like that with uh, Depay. Depay is like a combination of using a hunter and an engine. Engine chemistry style is good with him, but obviously from time to time his finishing wasn't like crazy good. But uh, yeah, we'll see what Gedge is like with it. This guy's got a pretty cool team actually. I like this French Portuguese. You know, got the links. Got the links. All right, let's try it again, boys, with the uh, engine chemistry style this time. Okay, yeah, give him the engine. Like, you're, you're going to have to sacrifice for the shooting because the dribbling was irritating me a little bit. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Oh, my God, way better. You guys can even see it yourselves, you know? Oh, man, I just want to get that specific angle there for the finesse shot. He obviously doesn't have the traits, so he's not going to hit them in, like, this crisp manner, but... You try it out anyways. I think for me personally, this is not the type of card I would necessarily use up top in the striker position, but more on the sides, you know? Yeah, the, the finishing, uh, you know, after certain skill moves and stuff is not necessarily going to be the greatest. So you do have to get those high percentage strikes with them for sure. Oh, this beautiful pass. We couldn't get that volley off there with Rashford. We moved, though. Uh, yeah, guys, he, he feels like someone, right? If you wanted to use him in your team, he feels like a card you either use in the cam position or on the side. Striker, uh, he's kind of generic there. Like, he could definitely play it really well. But because we're giving him that dribbling boost to make him feel more responsive, it just makes more sense to play him through the midfield, in my opinion, and kind of rely on his attacking AI with the striker to open up the space for himself. Or, you know, if we play him on the side to do the exact same thing. There we go. See what I'm saying? Like, if you work that 100% angle, you'll be able to score those opportunities. But I really feel like he needs that dribbling boost. I was, like, rotating uh, between the formations. I even want to just try, try him out as a striker just to see what he's like in this 4-3-2-1. But, um... Yeah, I, I think he needs the engine chemistry style, guys, to make him feel the best. What I want to do here is I want to try him on the 4-2-3-1 uh, with, with balance tactics. Uh, long ball doesn't, is not crazy with this specific team, but the balance one is uh, usually really good. So um, let's, let's do this one switch here. Let's switch Gonzalo Gedge off to the side with Rashford playing up top in the striker position with this formation and tactics. Because like I said, guys, this 4-2-3-1 with balance balance for this team is really good. It's important that he has the shot power though, guys. Shot power is very, very important. He's the type of card you can use in any of the attacking positions, but obviously for the reviews, guys, I always mention where I think a card is best utilized. It doesn't mean that he's not good in certain positions, like he can definitely play them, but that's the whole point of the reviews is looking at um, where I like the most, you know? But with cards like this, and it was very noticeable, obviously, before even checking out the card, it's the type of card that like there's no obvious chemistry style to give him because you know with cards like this There's always gonna be something that you feel like is gonna be you know missing uh, Whether it's the dribbling or the shooting or whatever like if he had 
If he had certain stats in dribbling and I could just give him the hunter chemistry style, then it'd be dope, right? But you can clearly see that his attacking AI is actually quite nice. So, you know, the original position that they've actually given this card, center forward, uh, it does make a lot of sense with how he performs on the pitch. Cam, center forward. A very similar situation to João Felix. He can definitely play striker as well. He can play any of the attacking positions, but there's no, like, obvious one that he's best at, if that makes any sense, right? All right, guys, so final verdict on the Gonzalo Getch card. So for me personally, guys, I think it's very important for you to boost his dribbling as much as possible to make him feel as responsive as possible in game because his base card stats for dribbling does affect the card a little bit because of his 5'10 height as well as his average body type. So I think boosting it with a finisher chemistry style or engine chemistry style as much as possible um, is very, very important for a card like this, in my opinion. I like the engine chemistry style because it gives him that little bit of extra pace as well. Uh, just in case I want to use him on the sides, through the middle. I think he plays his best football through the middle, but he also plays well through the sides as well. But I feel like because of his shooting stats, it just makes the most sense to use him in that center forward or cam position uh, while rotating with the other players on the pitch, right? I tried him up top in the striker position by himself. He played he played it okay uh, as a center forward. Cam, he played it okay. On the sides, he played it okay. He's not like this amazing card, obviously, but he is going to be fun to use for a gameplay objective card. So for me, guys, try to boost the dribbling as much as possible. Um, and I think you'll have fun with the card. Again, very important that he has 90 shot power with 82 finishing. If it was backwards where he had uh, 90 finishing with 82 shot power, there's situations where you would want that extra base uh, shot power for this card. I think EA should have boosted his card by like a one or two rating to kind of boost the specific areas of the card a little bit more, but it is what it is. Uh, I'm still going to have a lot of fun with him. A gameplay objective card that's been boosted this much, you can't go wrong with guys like this. So hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.